Hi. Hi. In this video, we'll be talking about uh, electricity problems in Pakistan. Electricity problems in Pakistan um, is actually one of the biggest inspiration that we got for our project. Yeah, Pakistan is really struggling with power shortages and blackouts. Um, for example, there was a major electricity blackout in the capital, Islamabad, in January of 2023. Um, phone services, hospitals, and water pumps were not working at the time. In Pakistan, 50% of the population does not have access to grid. Um, less electricity means more kerosene lamps, which means more, more health problems. It also impacted education, women's labor, and gender equality. At the upstream, gas underpricing causes more waste and less production in electricity. And a lot of electricity is lost during transmission because of poor infrastructure and theft. The flood in 2022, moreover, damaged more infrastructure and made repairing and improving the systems really hard as well. Here's a brief history for the electricity companies in Pakistan. Um, there was um, a lot of uh, privatization and the monopoly going on the whole time. And originally, the electricity was owned by the Water and Power Development Authority, WAPDA, and also the Karachi Electricity Supply Corporation, um, KESC. In 1998, the WAPDA separated into 10 companies owned by the government, and in 2005, the government privatized KESC, but the performance wasn't really good. So in 2009, the, the KE was resold, and the performance improved, but it was still not very efficient. Right now, Pakistan gave power distribution companies uh, to provinces on the which is on the way to privatization. A better solution um, for Pakistan to consider in the future might be to increase competition between privatized companies and also improve their governance um, over electricity problems. Yeah, there was also increased price of liquefied natural gas in the past. A solution could be um, low-cost renewable energy like wind and solar. Thank you for listening to this video. See you. Bye.